guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is the software tour of the HTC S743. Now, because the 743 doesn't have a touch screen, HTC couldn't use TouchFlow 3D, which it's pretty much including on all of its newer devices these days. Um, so instead, the S743 has a modified version of the sliding panel interface that we saw on non-touch screen Windows Mobile devices. So if we take something like the Blackjack 2 here, probably looks familiar to you. You go down um, through the sliding panels, you can see your next appointment, you can make a new appointment. Uh, if you go down further, you can uh, set up email, you can play music right from your home screen, go through pictures, things like that. It's a really fantastic interface, but HTC has actually made it a little bit better uh, with their own additions, and let me show you that now. Okay, here we are, and before I get started, I want you to take note to something. Uh, around the D-pad, there is a swirl of light. This is actually the system indicator light, as you find on the Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro. So if I have a new message, it swirls around in a circle, uh, kind of blinks like it is now. If it, you're charging it, you, you've just plugged it in, it will fade white from bottom to the top. Uh, if you have a full charge after you've plugged it in, it will remain steady. So kind of a cool way to show off uh, various bits various uh, system notifications. Okay, so let's get closer in on the screen and take a look at these uh, sliding panels. So the first one is the one that we've seen already and the one that's on all of the phones is the time. Now if we go down to the next panel, we can flip to the right and we can see our upcoming appointments. Uh, if we go to the next one, this is uh, standard two. Uh, we see no no missed calls, no new voicemail. And then if we go down one, here's something that's kind of new and unique. Uh, we can see our text messages right on the screen. So I have three text messages, and I can flip back and forth from them. If we go down one, here's something that's also new. We can see the emails uh, that, that have fallen into the inbox. And you can read a preview of them right on the screen. And then you can tap on uh, the D-pad and open it up right on the screen. So if we go down to where we left off, uh, here we have weather, and unfortunately we don't get the weather animations that you get on TouchFlow 3D, uh, but it is nice to have it on the home screen. And if we tap on the D-pad, it will take us to a five-day forecast, although it's not a very detailed five-day forecast, I must say. Um, if we go down, here's something that's also unique. You get your Internet Explorer favorites right on the home screen, which is kind of cool because if you just want to really quickly check a website, you can just you know go down to that panel tap over and check out what's going on at pocketnow.com mobile. All right, and let's go back down. And then we have weather, uh, excuse me, we have uh, Internet Explorer, then we have play all songs, which is, you know, if you put in a media card, you can actually play songs right from your home screen, but that's not anything that is uh, unique. And of course, we can change our profile and uh, go, to, go to the communications manager and everything like that. So that is the home screen, and something interesting happens when you open up the keyboard, although it's not terribly interesting. Uh, you get this little launcher, and, and the, the purpose of this is to allow you to do things that are related to typing on a keyboard. So email, messenger, SMS, MMS. It's kind of silly, and you can turn this off so that you just see the standard home screen when you slide out the keyboard. Okay, now I'm just going to go through a few things that I wanted to show you that, that makes this device kind of unique. So I'm going to go into the Start menu, and I'm going to click All Programs. And what you'll notice if you go into All Programs is that there's no scroll bar on the side. So the only way to get to the next panel or the next pane of programs is to press More. This is not that big of a deal, but I think it's going to confuse some people that are new to Windows Mobile and are wondering, are there only nine programs? And no, there are a lot more than nine programs, um, which is kind of silly. But anyway, so we have a few folders here. If we go into multimedia, we have the camera album. And this may look familiar if you have an HTC Touch Pro or Touch Diamond. This is a really nice looking uh, gallery for non-touch screen Windows mobile devices. It's very similar to that of uh, their higher end devices. And if we tap on a picture, we get it uh, on the screen. If we tap on the, the D-pad, it will go to the next picture. We can zoom in that way and zoom out. It's a very, very smooth implementation of the photo gallery, and I like it a lot. I'm going to cover it fully in the review. Uh, we have the camera application, which is a for the 3.1 megapixel camera. Of course, we have the video recorder there. So let's go back, and let's go to the next. Go to accessories. And uh, nothing terribly interesting here. We have connections set up, which will automatically configure your device, whether you're on AT&T or T-Mobile or any other GSM carrier. Um, it will choose that for you. 
I didn't really have to use that. It just worked when I put in my SIM card. Uh, let's go to the next task manager voice recorder, uh, internet sharing, which is cool uh, in case you want to use the internet connection from your device on your laptop. All right, let's go to the next thing. All right, and we have an RSS program, and going to the right, we have Voice Commander, which is kind of like Microsoft Voice Command. It's not as good, but allows you to talk to your device without having to train it first, which is good. And I just put Skyfire on there because, really, it comes with Pocket Internet Explorer, which isn't that good of a browser, so you're going to want to get Skyfire or Opera Mini or something like that uh, to get a good web browsing experience. Now, there are a few interesting things that come over from... Uh, from the other HTC devices, like the system volume. This is totally new for the uh, non-touchscreen version of Windows Mobile. This looks just like it does on the Touch Diamond and Touch Pro. Something else that looks like it does on the Touch Diamond and Touch Pro is the Communications Manager. So let me go down to that. Here it is. Really nice looking Communications Manager that lets you quickly turn it on, on and off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all those sort of things. What I want to cover now is the phone experience because some things have changed. Like the caller ID picture is bigger uh, when someone calls, and it's really easy to turn on speakerphone and things like that. So let me call my phone here and show you what it looks like when somebody uh, makes a call to your device. Okay, so we're getting a call right now, and the picture is much larger than you usually find on Windows Mobile devices. So I'm going to answer the And what I, what I really like about this is that you can turn on the D-pad, add a call, mute the call, or look at the contact by using the D-pad, which is kind of cool. It's a good use of the D-pad. In other Windows Mobile standard devices, you have to dig through the menu to actually do any of these things. But in this case, I can just press up to turn on the speakerphone. So that's it for the software tour of the HTC S743. There's a lot that I didn't cover that I'm going to cover in the full review coming up on pocketnow.com very soon. So be sure to check that out. We're going to talk about battery life, performance, and pretty much everything else you need to know about this device. Uh, so that's it for the S743.